12 to 3 p.m. Ben and Blake present evidence for a round earth. That never happened. Whoa, stop. Before we start this, I want to start off by saying a lot of people have been telling me that they think this entire series is just like a big skit or something. Oh boy. This is Nathan Thompson, the actual leader of the Flat Earth Society, which believes that the Earth is flat. Nathan thought he was coming out to Los Angeles to film a Flat Earth segment for the Travel Channel, but in reality, this is a giant prank on him, his friends, and the entire Flat Earth Society. To sum it up, my friends and I are pranking Nathan, who is a real life person who really thinks that everything is happening is real. So now, uh, enjoy this recap of the last episode, narrated by Nathan Thompson himself. So the Harvard Globeheads debunked their model yesterday. Entrance! Entrance! Touching computer! Wow! Insane. It shocked the producer from like 10 feet away. I thought he was gonna die. I literally thought he was gonna die. The dude was wearing duck suit. He honestly didn't feel a thing. I was so, so surprised. I thought our producer was dead, dude. I thought he died. <laughs> and he was good, dude. They got a Guinness World Record for generating the largest magnet in human history. Like, is this real life? Is this really happening to me? Reality is just stranger than fiction. Because, <laughs> wow. I can't believe the Earth is flat. We have to go tell everyone about this. You haven't met a flat Earther? They drove from Harvard. That's it sounds right. weird, but it is flat. Nathan said that he would be in charge of making the flyers to get the information out. Yo, Thank you. I got a flyer for you, hey, bro. The Earth is flat. We were giving out flyers left and right. Here, miss, do you want a flyer? Hey, the Earth is flat, sir. Do you want to check it out? Look at this flyer. It tells everything about how the Earth is flat. If you have a brain, eyes to see, and a mouth to speak, you know the Earth is flat. It's just, do you have eyes, do you have ears, and do you have a brain that works? If you do, welcome to Flat Earth, my brother. Then we ran into this one guy who sadly only had one ear, so he was not able to hear the entire truth. That made us all really sad. All right, anybody here know the Earth's flat? Today, they got a Guinness World Record today. Keep it, keep it flat, keep it flat. Keep it flat. Keep it flat. <laughs> Girls don't like any of this, they want like this. I have not even looked at these flyers at all. I have no idea what they say. And honestly, I'm just trusting Nathan because he's a flat earther and so am I now. The flyers could say, I don't know, gravity's fake and it's magic and I wouldn't even know. No way I would say that though. Gravity is magic. Yo, Blake, have you seen these flyers? Yo, Blake. What's up? What's up? I know that gravity's not magic. We need to be fact-checking Nathan. We need to make sure he knows what he's talking about. Why does this mask fall down if there's no gravity? All right, great. Well, I can ask you why does a helium balloon fall up? How do clouds? Clouds don't go up or down. They just float. Well, where's your gravity there? Is it falling right now? Well, it's no, it's, it's not. What? Oh, you, you didn't do that. This is all you, Ben. Ben did push the mask off the table and then somehow pushed it down onto the ground. Nathan is right. I guess these flyers are legit. Are you polling? Yeah. Why would the world want to lie to us? Technically, the idea of why would they lie is an argument from personal incredulity. It's literally just programming. It's brain mind control. All the planets are a sphere, but the Earth is flat. Oh, wait. How did you prove Mars and Venus are spheres. Are you saying all the planets are flat? Why are you talking about my beliefs? Most people have no clue what's above our head. They think it's all balls. It's all balls. Yeah, they just think it's a bunch of balls up there, dude. Blake yeah. is so excited. He can see it back with his girlfriend now, yeah. dude. Ever since he broke up with his girlfriend, she recently became a flat earther. She decided to, she wouldn't want to be with me. I just miss Brianna. It's just so fresh. It's like a fresh wound. No. She's here in California. She's in LA. You said yeah. She's in she's LA, in LA right, right now. She's literally living or staying with her parents right now. Wow. So I wonder what she's gonna say. Uh oh. Uh, oh. Did she text back? Yeah. She said, Blake, I told you to stop texting me. Oh! Tell her I got a Guinness World Record and poop it flat. Oh my gosh, this is so interesting. Oh, she's texting me back. Uh oh, she's texting him back. She, he just told her typing. Typing. Oh, no. Typing. What's she gonna say? Okay. Stop lying, Blake. Uh, Stop lying. She said you're lying. I know you don't believe that the Earth is flat, but that's what I believe, and I don't appreciate you making this a joke. Should I FaceTime her? This is so funny. Actually? She thinks yeah. he's lying. Right. Hey. What do you want? Can I talk to you for a second? He's not lying. He's 
not lying. So I did an experiment today about proving that the Earth was round. The Earth is indeed flat, and so I just wanted to tell you that I believe. I'm not lying. He's not lying. We did the Look. test. My name's Nathan. I run the largest flat earth group in the world. And oh my gosh, I Nathan. Yeah, hi. I've seen your YouTube videos. Cool, nice to meet you. Hi. I've been answering their questions. He's open-minded now. He wasn't open before, but he's open now. And he's got a heart of gold. Nathan brought up this flat earth meetup, and now that I'm a flat earther and Brianna is too, I think it's the perfect time for us to go on our first date. Flat earth meeting on Saturday. Would you want to go? Yeah, I'd love to go. Woo! Yes! Yes! Yeah, yes! 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 yeah we'll talk to you later. She's seen my YouTube videos, bro. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yes! Flat Earth Wait, is so just winning all the time. Woo! Yes! Keep it flat. Keep it flat. Keep it flat. Boom! Yeah, flat. Boom. All right. Flat. Yeah. Flat, bitch. <laughs> Mucho level. Not this, because that, yeah. And also not this. You guys have such a unique story because you didn't want it to be flat. Guys, it's been an awesome day. My life could honestly not be better and now it's off to our cool posh Airbnb to end the night in style. Very excited. You guys come from Harvard, so we wanted to kind of step it up a little bit for you guys. Wait, this is our Airbnb? Unfortunately, it looks like they kind of locked it up for the night, so we're just gonna have to hop the fence. So I am the producer and one of the directors of the TV show. Right now, I'm showing Ben and Blake their new Airbnb. Come on in, guys. Yeah, come check out your new spot. There's no electricity in this place. Well, Where's the electricity maybe they... What is all this stuff? There's oh. stuff everywhere. Maybe the last guests were really messy and they forgot to clean up. But it stinks in here. Oh, it smells yeah. in here. I don't smell anything. Where is Nathan's stench? Oh, we just got him like a four star hotel. Wait, what? Don't let it close. When we roll out, let's all go right. Alright. Hey, are you recording? Yeah, dude. Three, two, one. I'm ready, ready when you are, man. generated the largest electromagnetic symbol, magnetic poles, in uh, human history. Poles. They got a Guinness World Record for doing it. They asked me, Nathan, what signal do you want to send these guys in Kazakhstan? And all, that moment in my head, SOS, send them an SOS. And within 10 seconds, they said, hey, we got your message. It was SOS. And I'm thinking, they are literally via magnetic morse code sending signals to Kazakhstan. I knew that for a fact because I knew they didn't know. They didn't David Copperfield my head. And the people in Kazakhstan said the signal didn't come from under the earth. It came laterally. So the earth's not a globe. It's flat. Yeah. Amazing, right? So you prove it to them basically. Well, they proved it to themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. They drove all the way out here 20 something hours from Massachusetts and they're Harvard grads. Yeah, we've known it's flat the entire time. So, like, when they got the wrong data back, that's what I was expecting. It's not what they were expecting. <laughs> and they debunked the globe with their knowledge they learned at Harvard, dude. I mean, how amazing is that? So, on Netflix, they said flat earthers. With no Harvard degree, prove it's a globe. But the Harvard grads proved it's flat with this documentary. So that is so groundbreaking. Yeah, that's gonna break the internet. Whatever they're doing over there in the middle of nowhere is legit. Yo, Blake, can I make some food? There's some chicken. Oh, it's definitely a hazard living here, but. They said that's all they have in the budget, so this is where we gotta stay. Check it out. There's like this big Discord of all these flat earthers, and Nathan's in there right now. Did you hear what happened today? What the hell? Did you fucking Bro, hear what happened? What happened? Share it with everyone if you may. Guys, the Harvard students prove it's flat. What, what's this? 
Recently, they were doing a magnetic pulse test. People in Kazakhstan uh, have equipment to receive the pulse signal, and the people in Kazakhstan confirm. Whoa, dude. Bro, what? You, oh, not shit. Shit. Out with the globe, in with the flat. This is, uh, I mean, I'm in shock. I mean, I was in shock as well. So, guys, honestly, my hat is off to Ben and Blake. And I think we should give them our utmost respect. Dude, I'm telling you, this is groundbreaking. This is super big. The community's gonna have your back on it now. He's talking about us, dude. Oh, dude, that's so sick. We made it. Dude, we're big flat earthers now. Dude, it does reek in here, though. Like, there, there's no way they're gonna be able to spin this. Have you, have you heard any globe response? Because I'm just trying to think what they could oh, say. Oh, this is. There's nothing they can argue about this. It's just flat earth proof, dude. How do you not see that you are being pranked so fucking hard right now? All the globe earthers right now are just making up these stupid conspiracies because they can't accept our model. What did this thing look like that Nathan looked at it and was like, yeah. It made zero sense. We don't even need to talk about the magnet. You got pranked and your ego is not letting you realize that. It's not, I don't understand why people are just saying it's fake. It's not freaking fake. Literally, all he had to do was look it up and he would have known he was being pranked. What job would have duck onesies? In a situation where you can be fooled by a jackass in a duck suit. And he doesn't realize it. Dude, 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 dude. Nathan's infiltrating the Globe Earthers chat. Nathan's gonna tell all of them, dude. Oh my God. Do you guys know they're not Harvard scientists? <laughs> or do yes. you? Yes. Yes. Oh, we know they're not Harvard scientists. Excellent. And your evidence is? A whole series of videos mm -hmm. they did taking the piss out of Scientology. And that's how you know they didn't go to Harvard. Yes, because I've seen, uh, heard some of their background. Yeah, I heard you the first time. What was your evidence? Well, I've just told you. You just repeated yourself. Well, that's the evidence. You don't have any oh. more evidence. That's it. That's what I've got to go on. Well, that's pretty circular. Well, what have you got? Two guys dressed as ducks who you think are scientists. Let's think. Which of these two groups of people is most likely to be dressed like a duck in a YouTube video? Harvard scientists or professional YouTube trolls? Take your pick, Nathan. It's a multiple choice question and you've got a 50% chance of getting That's it right. It. Will Nathan Thompson believe everyone telling him this is a prank? Or is he gonna deny all evidence presented to him and stay true to his own beliefs? Find out next week on episode four of Travel Channel's Flat Earth. Oh yeah.